happen? John, have a seat. Good to see you. Good to see you. John, the first thing I gotta ask you, man, how long have you had that hair look? Because I, if I wait too long, the hair look is what sets John Newman apart. The hair look makes it happen. Yes, sir. I had it for about three months now. Is this just three months? Yeah, just three months. Since you've had the look. Yeah. Since you picked it up before, right before the Haco then. Yes. You came into the Haco with a new look. Yeah, I had it, you know, That's box what, it up a little man, bit. Man, you got it going on. I mean, to me, it's like going back to the ABA days. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. You ever had your dad talk about that, about those old ABA players? They used to have that hair look back. It was huge back in the day. Dr. J, you probably saw some of them. Oh, yeah. Dr. J, uh, I, I watch him a little bit, so mm -hmm. yeah, he's talked about it a little bit. Who do you watch today? Who do you watch on the uh, television these days or on the internet somewhere? Who's the basketball player you watch most and say, "Man, I can watch this guy play all day long"? Uh, um, I probably watch a lot of I watch a lot of Kevin Durant. You know, he's a he's my favorite player, and you know, I try to like you know mold my game around his. You know, what I'm saying I want to become more of a, a better shooter like he is, but. Um, I'm working on it. I'll get there. What you, what's the bond? I talked to your dad about this a little bit. There's a good bond between you and J.P. Mormon. You oh, guys yeah, come to the game together, stick together, definitely strong teammates. Yes, sir. Um, we've been playing together since we were like seven, and um, we're strong. We have a strong friendship off the court, and um, it's really he's really like my, my like a brother to me, the brother that I never had. And um, when we get in, we got that chemistry going, so we just like we just go out there and play. We talk about it before the game. And uh, our, we know our coach needs us to go out there and produce, so we just go ahead and play. You guys play well together. What about Thank your dad? You. What do you pick up from your dad in basketball? -wise? What's he taught you, and what can you learn from your dad? He just had an outstanding career football and basketball back in his day. Yeah, um, one thing that I've really learned from my dad is that I have to play with uh, heart. And because um, he says he had a little bit more, more dog in him uh, than I do now. So, I mean, I just like, just tell me to go hard every day and be a threat as much as I can. That's what like one of the main things that I've taken from him uh, since he's taught me. Do you guys talk much after the game, you and your dad, after your games were over? Yeah, we talk a lot after the game. He tells me things that I could have done better because, you know, there's always things that you can improve on. And um, we talk about the game, different things that happen, um, ways that I could be more of a threat and help my team out. So. What do you think is your best move, your best shot? What's uh, the best part of your game, the strength of your game right now? Strength of my game right now is probably – my versatility because I think that there are like several different things that I can do for a team like if you need me to handle it a little bit I can do that I feel like and I can I can knock down a shot I'm not just gonna like come down and jack it but I think I can hit it uh, you have to I mean, the old uh, professional wrestler the rock used to always have his uh, shows to kind of know your role and do what you're rolling right in Greensboro day you got to know your role oh yeah definitely just know your role and our, uh, our coach Smith he always says to do your job so that's one thing that we stress at, at GDS you learn a lot from coach Smith he's a pretty good coach too then a lot yeah yeah he's a great guy a great coach he is a high impact though high stress <laughs> man he is into a high intensity level right oh yes definitely uh definitely in practice and in the games he uh he puts this real hard you know he gets on me a lot but um I know it's out of love you know what I'm saying he wants me to be the best I can be so um I just listen to what he has to say and then try to uh, learn from it we talked about matching up with your dad maybe going physical with him because your dad's a big man what about uh, <laughs> Peter Ogman? what about going physical oh with man <laughs> it is a it's a dog fight down there with Peter and um I actually had to get a mouthpiece when I was uh, gonna go down there with Peter and rebound a little bit you know what I'm saying he's shaking you up and He'll, he'll rough you up a little bit. <laughs> How tall do you think you'll end up when you finally finish your growth work? I mean, have you guys looked ahead toward that? You guys got the doctor doing any projections on stuff like that? Yeah, when I tore my ACL, um, before I got it to determine which um, which type of uh, graph we were going to do, um, they said I was still growing. And I was back when I was about 6'2". He said I had a few more inches. So I'm thinking I'll be like, right now I'm 6'4". I think I'll probably get about like 6'5", 6'6", range, somewhere around there. Your goal is to play in college one day, I'm sure. Yes, sir, definitely. Any favorite colleges other than these ACC schools? Uh, or you got a favorite ACC school? Um, my favorite ACC school is probably Wake Forest because my dad's friend coach is there. Mm -hmm. And... Um, He's a great guy, and I really like him. So you met Mr. Manning then? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. So you wouldn't mind going to Wake Forest one day down the road? Definitely not. I wouldn't mind at all. I, I'm just waiting. The future's bright, no doubt about it. A lot yes, of good sir. things. Now, who's your AAU coach when you play in the summer? Um, coach Scott Bullwich. Oh, no, coach for uh, CP3. CP3. CP3 All-Stars, yes, sir. And that age group is, what, the 15s Yes, right sir, now? 15 under. What is it like playing against a guy like Big Harry Giles? Go against wow. Harry sometimes. That's a battle, I'm sure. Yeah, definitely. When I'm going down there with him, I know I have to have a different mentality than when I'm playing against someone else because, you know, he's going to he's gonna try to kill me every play. So I got to try to stop him from doing what he's doing. And um, I just go go hard every play. He definitely has an effect on how you play. You know, some things that whenever you come to land, you got to be aware of where he's at because you don't want to – 
uh, let them send your uh, send your ball to the other end. So you got to be aware. Could be embarrassing, couldn't it? Just thinking about that, what you're saying, could be <laughs> yes, really sir. with that large crowd watching and get a shot blocked like that oh, all the way yeah. to the end of the court. Can that can happen? What about when you play hunter? How do you adjust your game when you play hunter? Your sister. <laughs> Well, uh, what I do is, to her is I try to, you know, apply a little bit of pressure because, uh, you know, I think my, my pressure kind of shakes her up a little bit. She's pretty tough at the elbow. Oh, yeah, she is. She is. She's uh, she's hit a few uh, elbow jump shots mm -hmm. in my face, but, you know, I'm uh, I'm learning. I'm learning. There's a lot of love on your family. This is the, the first family of basketball, the John Newman family. This is a true basketball family, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah. you got to love it, too. Yes, um, you got another sport besides basketball? Is it all basketball for you? All basketball right now. Yeah, definitely. I used to play a little bit of football, but I stopped that when I was about 10, 11. So. You have a favorite class over Greensboro Day these days? My favorite class is probably physics. Hmm. Yeah, I think I like I like you know learning about things like that, like physics. And um, my class is really fun. We get to learn a lot of. Who's the stuff. teacher over there for the physics class? Miss Mary Rosa. Mary Rosa. Mary Do you Rosa. see yourself expanding upon the, the high school physics and maybe studying that some in college too? I might. I might consider it. Um, I haven't really thought that far ahead, but I might consider it one of these. You days. got a least favorite class uh, these days? Nah. Mm. All I good, think, right? Yeah, all my classes are fun. You know, they're good. It's a lot of good uh, teaching experiences and things like that. We asked Hunter about this. Uh, what does it mean to be a game changer? Who's the game changer for Greensboro Day? Uh, I think everyone uh, from the first to the 15th man on the team, I think everyone's a game changer. Um, we push ourselves in practice, you know, to each other, go hard every single play like we will in the game. Um, I think a game changer is someone who knows the role, does the job, because 99.99% .99 of the time, whenever you are listening to your coach, doing your job, you're, you're going to uh, make a difference in the game. So uh, I think everybody on my team does that very well. And, and a guy you know, like Jordan Perkins, he had a chance tonight. He was able to come in and do his role and did it well, too. Yes, sir. Um, Jordan played great there tonight. Um, he hadn't been playing that much this year, but um, I'm glad he got his chance to uh, show what he got, and he definitely uh, – he did his thing the other night, so I'm proud of him. 10, 15, 20 years down the road, where do you see John Newman Jr.? Uh, hopefully in the NBA, but um, if that doesn't work out, I probably um, – I kind of want to be a chef when I get older. So, oh, not bad. Um, not bad. you know, I, my, you can catch my dad, you know, and me cooking in the kitchen sometimes. So you get I on like that to, TV, watch the Food Network? Watch a little bit, a little bit. I do a little bit of that, you know, yeah. try to learn a little bit. Um, put yourself in a photograph, kind of a snapshot of your basketball life. We look at that photograph of John Newman Jr. What do we see when we look at that photograph? Um, a lot of hard work. Um, probably you probably see me in the gym because I'm in the gym a lot. You know, just working on my game. Where's your gym? Where do we? What gym? Um, I, I have a lot of different gyms. Spears YMCA. Spears YMCA. I'm just out, now starting to go to the uh, to Sportsplex a little bit with JP. Gotcha. And um, sometimes I work out with uh, at Harrison with uh, Kevin Graves. So. Mr. Gray is Carolina Diamonds, right? Yes, sir. And where do you guys work out again? With Harrison. Coach? Harrison. Gotcha. Harrison Middle School. Yes, sir. Coach Gray. That guy can teach. He's a good teacher. Yeah, he's good a good basketball guy, yeah. man. Um, who's next on your schedule? Who do you guys have next? We have High Point Christian tomorrow. High Point tomorrow at their place, right? At their place. Sir. Yeah, this will be a tough game. They played well this year. Yes, yeah, they're a great team. If you could be the team MVP or number one in your class, academic-wise, which would you choose? Um, academic-wise, I, I think I'd be uh, the best in the class academic-wise um, because I, th I feel like one of these days the ball's going to stop bouncing and you got to have something to fall back on and having a good education, you know what I'm saying? They can't take education from you, what you know. So definitely academics. High-end restaurant one day when you're being the chef, high-end restaurant? Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I know a little bit. Any <laughs> nice restaurants? We love Shane's Rib Chef. Any other nice love restaurants it. you would uh, suggest around town? You may have been to these? Um, I think that Smith's Diner downtown <laughs> Interesting. is okay. a great place. They have a good, they have good prices, great food, great service. Um, it's a great place to go, and it's pretty small, but you know, it, it's it used worth to be Robinson's money. Restaurant years ago, back in the old days of the Robinson family, many, many right. moons ago. A lot of people remember them. That's cool. Say, so John Newman Jr. stuck on a deserted island all by himself. He's got to bring somebody and got to play this person one on one, and got to beat them to get off the island. This person's got to be a some basketball reputation. Who do you play one on one to get off the island? I'm gonna go with probably my sister. Gonna play your sister because huh? that's a little sibling rivalry that we have going on, and uh, she's she can be a challenge for me sometimes. You know, she's she's fouling a lot, so you know it's always fun playing my sister though. But, What's know. the thing you've learned the most from your dad? What's the biggest impact he's made? What do you learn the most from uh, Mr. Newman, John Newman Sr.? Um, 
most like on the court or like on the court or life a little bit of both life uh, I've learned that he's I've had a little like fo I have problems focusing sometimes so definitely uh, he's kind of engraved it in me to focus keep focus you know um, he tells me that a lot I just have to say focus on what I'm doing because he says whenever I'm focused I'm I'm really well but when I'm not I really am not so uh, focusing is definitely you know even on and off the court you know in a classroom, I have to stay focused on my uh, work and my grades to make sure I'm getting that right. And on the court, whenever I'm focused, I gotta tune into the game, do what I have to do. I'm gonna challenge you right now. Take a hush puppy, eat one of those when you go out of here. Let me let you roll. <laughs> Thank you, John. Take that hush puppy and eat that before you leave. I want to see. I'll get a report back from you. You're a future chef. Give yes, me a